Hey, it's a pleasure and good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next edition of the Ponky Take AHL Edition and NHL Edition as the Kings lose Kale Clegg to the Montreal Canadiens, who claim him to, of course, obviously have some defensive woes and need to add as many solid defensemen into their core as they're able to, where the Kings, of course, have a little bit more depth, not a little bit more, to have more depth there than the Montreal Canadiens. So they lose him to Montreal. He has not played a game yet in Montreal. But Kale Clegg, of course, the former second round pick by the or by the by the Kings in the 2016 NHL entry draft, is a very pass-oriented offensive defenseman. His assist numbers are absolutely ridiculous. When you look at his expected assist numbers, like 97 percentile. Where then, when you look at his goals, it's really low because the most goals he's ever had was 10 when he played for the Brandon Wheat Kings, and then. He also played for the Moose Jaw Warriors in his final year where he had all of his points other than one via the assist. So he's always been a more assist-oriented defenseman um, as well as in the AHL. That's held out as well. The most goals he had was eight. Still had 17 assists in that season, 22 assists, and the most assists he's had in the pros this far. Uh, 11 assists, only one goal again, so a very assist-oriented season in the shortened 2021 season. And then this year, in his time with the Ontario Reign, when he was in the Kings organization, in five games, all of his points were assists. So obviously, Kale Clay is a guy that you want to be a little bit more efficient in the defensive zone. But when he was picked, he plays third pairing minutes at this point. He was kind of expected to be. That's why he wasn't a first round defenseman. He was a second round defenseman because his defense was the knock on the scouting report. It was he will make some of those mistakes. You see the guys like the Yondels, the Gostas Bears, all the other more offensive-oriented defensemen make. But also, obviously, different is we've seen Ghost at times when he was at his best with the Flyers and also this season where the Coyotes really consistently can put up the great point total. You have to see if Clegg's going to be able to do that at the NHL level. But when you're a very pass-oriented defenseman and not a guy like Ghostas Bear that also scored a lot of goals before in the pros as well with the passing that he has the good passing touch, as well as Keith Yandel, who's done the same. You're going to need your teammates, obviously, to be able to give you those very good consistent seasons because you're not a goal scorer from the back end yourself. You're more of a move the puck around, push the pace defenseman that moves it up the ice and gets it up the ice to your forwards. You then have to execute, obviously, excuse me, to get it done for you. That's why in Philadelphia, when people have beaten down Keith Yandel this year, I think it's a little bit unfair because... He's a guy like that at this point of his career. Yes, he used to score more earlier in his career, but at this point he is just a pass-oriented, move the puck up for the most part. And I thought he's been doing fine on the power play, but move the puck up for the most part defenseman. That is then relying on his forwards to actually get it done, which hasn't been happening. Well, with the Kings, that did happen for him in 11 games, in a, in a couple games where he was inconsistent. That's kind of been the telltale story of Clegg this far in his young career. He's still only 23, 24 to 27 um, is where you're kind of in like the middle of entering your prime years. 23 is still one off, in my opinion. That's kind of where I look at it, like 24 starts your prime years, and then some guys don't peak until they're kind of at that 27. So like like Ryan Strom, for example, of the uh, Rangers didn't really peak until he was older, so that's why I kind of use that realm there. But Kale Clegg, a very solid pickup by the Montreal Canadiens. They need as much defensive help as they can get. His offensive assist numbers are ridiculous, and projections for him to be an assist-level defenseman are very good. It's just then he has to obviously be on a team. Montreal hasn't been the most efficient, obviously, again, the puck in the net, but they do have some forwards like the Brandon Gallagher's of the world. Of course, the Jonathan Durand's of the world, the Nick Suzuki's of the world, um, Dvorak, who's a good forward as well. They have guys you can push it up two and then they can get it going maybe he can be a guy that can help the power play there since he is a very good pass defenseman and that can help them out and he can kind of find his footing there just like it seems like Logan Brown might be finding his footing in St. Louis a guy I did a video on that I'll link at the end of this if you want to check that out another former um top two round pick a t top uh, 15 pick for Logan Brown that seems to be finding his footing in St. Louis but this has been a video on Cal Clegg who Obviously, has had a very solid AHL career this far. Still has been trying to find his footing in the NHL. Now he gets a chance to do that with the Montreal Canadiens organization. And it'll be interesting to see when he does get his first tilt in Montreal. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. As this has been the next edition of the Ponky Take. And as always, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below on the sub button or up above on the easy-to-use widget for the channel.
Have a great season, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the season. Peace out.